Good afternoon, my name is Peter Burgess. I'm a wild blueberry specialist with Perennia. We're in a blueberry field today to look at floral bud development. The blueberry production system is a two-year production system. First year is vegetative growth, the second year is fruiting production. It's September now and we're going to look at the floral buds in this field and help us make management decisions as we go forward in the fruiting year. What we will be doing is collecting samples across the field in order to get an accurate representation of bud numbers. Following a, a simple W sampling pattern allows us to get an accurate picture of what the bud numbers are in that field. So what we'll be looking for is the number of flora buds and number of vegetative buds that are on each stem. This stem shows the swollen floral buds near the top of the stem and the thinner, uh, narrower bud buds, which are vegetative, typically you see them lower in the stem. So here we're looking at one of the uh, 30 stems that we take in a field and we count the number of floral buds on the stem and we actually count the total number of floral buds in all 30 stems and then determine the, the, the number of floral buds per stem, take an average. So here you can see a floral bud developing. There's another one there. You can see here there's, there's two, there's actually a double floral bud on that one. As you go lower in the stem, you can, see, you can see here is a vegetative bud, and there we see a floral bud developing. As you can see here, there are two floral buds that are developing. There's another, a third, and a fourth. And we can see a fifth, sixth, and seventh on this stem. So this uh, stem here has a potential for seven uh, flower clusters come next spring. So this means this stem has a pretty good yield potential. So now that we've determined the average floral bud density in a field, what do we do with this information? Obviously, the higher the number of floral buds in a field, the greater the yield potential. So if we have high numbers in a field in the fall, we may want to look at increasing the pollinator density the following spring to optimize yield. If the numbers are poor in the fall, maybe the decision to cut back on pesticides is there because the payback wouldn't be there for the grower. Either way, this information allows the grower to make more informed decisions. 